Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play Banjo Tooie. In this episode, we're gonna be unlocking the next world and also getting the last jiggy that we can obtain here in Terry Dactyl Land. So let's get started, shall we? <laughs> so, okay, what the heck was that? <laughs> I guess this game just puts me in a uh, good mood, but yeah. Since we now have that dinosaur in our cargo bay, thanks to the power of the taxi pack, we can now take them to the Isle of Hags, and maybe Mumbo over there can perform some magic on them to fix them right up. So in this part, we're going to be backtracking a little bit to get some items, etc. that I have forgotten about. Well, not really items or that I forgot about. So the heck, what, what the heck am I saying? But... We're gonna get some jiggies that now we have access to. As you remember, we couldn't 100% a couple of the worlds because we didn't have the moves necessarily, and now we do. So we're gonna be doing that and maybe unlocking the next world. It honestly depends on how much you know time we have. Time is of the essence, as you know, in a let's play because there is a time limit. No, there is not a time limit on YouTube anymore. But you know, it's one of those things I get asked a lot. It's like, why don't you just make five-hour episodes? And it's like. Because people don't, I mean, I don't know, I guess it's like a little back and forth, but personally, I think that you should make a video, you know, like, make it as long as you'd sit down and watch a video. I'm not going to make a feature-length film every day, which, <laughs> I think it would have been really weird if anyone did that, but that's just my personal opinion. That's why we don't have a little mar marginal, you know, bite, I like to think of it as a bite-sized sandwich, you know, just one of them you pick up at the, uh, at the wedding, and you're like, mm, that was delish, and then, you know, you come back to the wedding the next day, because, you know, weddings happen seven days a week, as you know, and then they start to question, why are you, why are you, you were not invited to the ceremony, why are you here, and it's like, I was coming for the sandwich, and it's just like, okay gonna have to escort you <laughs> okay what the heck am I talking about mumbo take care of us sick sight sty I still can't say that holy crap that's so d need to work on those pronunciation pronunciations it's not pronunciation it looks like it but it's actually not but yeah we will heal the dinosaur inside the the you know not the, not the caboose well that technically is the caboose but not at the same time and hey it's farting rapidly I don't know why your farts are yellow, but hey, what a <laughs> Yeah, it's just the hey, but and all that stuff. I, I could not resist making a fart joke in a Johnny Awesome LP. Come on, dude. That's just how we roll in goddamn. I really hope this pterodactyl does not kick me off. No, get in there! Okay. Because <laughs> that has happened before. When I was playing the N64 version, I'm like, could you not? <laughs> It's just kind of one of those things, but yeah, let's uh, now go back and claim our reward. Luckily for us, we don't actually have to enter the cave again. Oh my gosh, that would be such a pain in the butt if you had to, but no, all you gotta do is get back on the train, re-enter Pterodactyl Land, and you get, or Pterodactyl Land. Yeah, the game wants you to call it Pterodactyl, but it's Terry. Terry, who, who I found out is usually actually a girl. What the? How could I not get inside the train? I found out it's actually usually a girl's name, despite there being a lot of celebrities that also have it. But yeah, we're gonna be using the train a little bit later, so I guess you might as well leave it in Terry Dactyl and just take the manual way out. I don't see a reason why not to. But yeah, I'm gonna in this episode my plan, my theory. See, this is what I do before every time I come on. I'm like, all right, wanna get, we'll knock out this, wanna knock out that, I wanna knock on wood. And if I can accomplish all that, you know, it makes me personally feel better. That's why I'm, like, finding, actually, is helping me a lot in my young adulthood is just making checklists on my phone. I don't know. <laughs> it's probably not... I sometimes feel like the uh, process of actually making them takes longer than sometimes doing them, but hey, whatever. And Yeah, you gotta run all the way home. Don't die on the way, because then I won't get a jiggy. And somehow there's hay still following you. You probably should put it on your butt. And wiped, cause that's nasty. I can't thank you enough. Please accept this shiny thing I acquired. When I trod on one of those un unga oh, so you killed an unga bugger and got a jiggy. Okay, <laughs> yeah, that was a lot of work. Can we get another one? No. Fair enough. <laughs> Look, that a little exchange. You know, I want to turn down a second jiggy for that one. Actually. I mean, Kazooie's like joking, obviously, but that one does take a lot. You're doing like basically three separate tasks just to like. Weren't you? Weren't you literally a different? This guy is changing colors so often, man. The Minjos, dude. They just need to keep it, you know, concise. So like, maybe you'll forget. I don't know. It's just my opinion, but 
yeah, that is technically all we could do in Terry Dactyl Land at the moment. I believe currently we are missing two things, a Jiggy, no, we're missing three, two Jiggies and a Cheeto page. We will get those in due time, but for the time being, I want to actually go back to Glitter Gulch Mine, because now that we have the jump shoes, we can get a lot of stuff done there, and also, heck, while I'm here, might as well go see Honey Bee, since we do have enough honeycombs to get another health extension. Just thought I bridged that a little bit. To be honest with you, I wish there was a skip function for this little part. And dang, that took all our empty honeycombs. Gosh, it's gonna take a while before we can get another health extension. But I mean, <laughs> we already have so many, doesn't it? Not like it's the end of the world, but yeah, like I said, I'm going back to Glitter Gulch Mine to get the least complicated jiggy ever. Okay, maybe not that, but it's just like, Dude, <laughs> they did not, okay, I don't want to be a little rare, because as you guys know, they're one of my favorite companies of all time as far as Gide Gideo game, video game production goes, but yeah, there could not be less to, I mean, maybe if you didn't break the box, there could not be more, less to getting this jiggy. It is so stinking easy, like, that's all we had to come back here and do. Yeah, <laughs> it's kind of funny though, if you had the clockwork egg and just shoot it up there and technically still get the jiggy, so that's kind of a cool little sequence break, but by the time you get the jump shoes, you already have that, so I don't know if that's really a sequence break or anything. I suppose if you were doing a sweet, okay, now stop bringing up speed runs, because <laughs> I do not know that much about them, and chances are I'm going to be just wrong about everything. Heck, I was wrong with the one time I did mention a speed run in this stinking LP. <laughs> so maybe I should learn to keep my mouth shut. Now that we got that, hmm... Yeah, I'll just take this anyways. I was gonna like, oh, is it really worth taking the silo just to go to Pine Grove? It's literally right there, but no, it totally is because it saves precious seconds out of my daily life. It's like, dude, we all know you're gonna go just watch YouTube videos for like four hours after this, so <laughs> who am I to talk about productivity? Well, huh. I won't get into that right now since self-analyzing usually takes a while. We don't have that kind of time today, so instead we will go to Mumbo's area. Not really, this isn't his area, but yeah, back in the Inferno, you may remember that, yeah, this is where the third Boggy child was, and we didn't have a way to transport. Did you just fart in my face? Now that we have a way to transport him in the form of the taxi pack, we can finally get this last jiggy. God dang, how I always mess that jump up, but yeah. Let's get Solo a Banjo out and get right over there. See, I made I made the return back. I made the jump back, but I didn't even have Kazooie. What sense does that make? But Yeah, I just come up to him and... I don't know if you guys notice it, but his head kind of stays a little bit bigger <laughs> mid-animation when he goes inside that pack. It's uh, kind of funny, actually. But yeah, let's now return to the entrance and drop this child off at the carport. <laughs> or as some people say, drop the kids off at the pool. That's a poop joke, everybody. More at 11. Unless you're watching this at 11. Then there's no more, and what did I tell you about not running away? Or off? Whatever, and I'm sorry, Mom. Sorry isn't good enough, young man. You've been eating again, haven't you? Well, you'd spill better once your dinner. Oh god, I don't think you can handle any more lady. It was a strange bear! He made me eat his hamburger! Enough of your lies! Oh god. <laughs> Oh man, that is so, uh, just old school cartoon, it's hilarious. And well, I think we're, I have enough excitement for today. Time to go back home to Hailfire Peaks. Boggy will be wondering where we've gone to. He'd better have the dinner in the oven. Bye there. <laughs> Thanks again, Banjo. Take this jiggy I found. In the ticket office earlier. D the heck, that wasn't your jiggy to take. That's a little, well then again, man, they just, they had a little bit too much fun with this game. <laughs> Oh, man, it's so funny. So, yes, with this next Jiggy, we have now 100% in all of Witchy World. Kind of. Well, what the heck, John? You gotta grab the Jiggy, dude. What the heck are you doing, man? You're staying, you're staying and going for your race, and you got your slippers on, you son. Anywho, there's a saying to be had there, but I couldn't remember it. Or it, it's something, it has something to do with britches. I don't really care. Let's get Kazooie back and have... How did I honestly mess up the double jump? Oh, it doesn't matter now. I don't really care. Okay, that's how you do it. This double jump is honestly like... I'm gonna try to not abuse it in the next world because there are a ton of shortcuts you can actually do with it. But yeah, I'm not gonna do that because, you know, not everybody likes to do things like that. Heck, I mean, I, 
I, for one, personally enjoy exploiting games like that, but maybe that's not your cup of tea. Anyways, on to level four. Because here in Jolly Roger's Lagoon, there is a another Jiggy that I have to get. Why am I talking like a robot? What the heck? Let's switch over to Kaz. See, that's the thing. I'm trying. To, I'm trying a little bit too hard today. Maybe that's my problem right now. No, that's not my problem. I've always been try hard, and I've always failed just the same. Okay, moving on. Um, let's head back to where Tip Top was and his giant egg. Well, considering he's a giant turtle, I guess that egg isn't that big. You know, that was a little rude. I'm sorry, Tip Top. But yeah, now that we have the ability to hatch eggs, guess what we're gonna think of there, guys? Egg. Yeah. Man, he's like, hmm. I do that a lot too. I'm just like, hmm. I'm trying to think. For some reason, the sound effect helps, and thank you so much. Wait, something looks odd. Hmm, oh no, he's upside down. You mean he's tipped up? Did it? That's not funny. Please help him. All right, all right, sorry. Here you go. <laughs> Do your attack, and he just cuts it off, and... Oh, that's much better. I found this buried in the sand. It's yours. Now come along, son. I'll take you to meet all your sisters. Yeah, this is the funniest part ever. He's just like, Woohoo! Yeah! <laughs> it makes no sense. It's like, maybe you should keep an eye on your child, man, especially when there's a bloodthirsty pirate and in the same area. Eh, whatever. Oh, man. Parenthood. It's quite the adventure, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, now that we got that, uh, there are technically a lot more things we could do here in Jolly Roger's Lagoon, but... Man, those are some of the long... Th those jiggies take some of the longest to do. Not really... Okay. In comparison to the game, you know, we're gonna need moves from other areas. So we'll be back here, don't worry, the music will come back. Even if people say they don't like this. Okay, moving on. Now we are... Let's see, what else do I want to do here? Uh, I guess we could, oh my god, you know what's been annoying me for so long, guys, and you guys have only, well, you've probably only seen it like three times now, I think about it. We could go the Wooden Hollow, but more importantly, this treble clef note has been annoying me for pretty much the entire game. Every time I turn the game on, you look up here and you're like, how the dump do I get that? Well, here's how you do it, and it's literally the easiest thing in the world. All you gotta do is have the grip grab ability, and just backflip up here. I just haven't had a reason to come over here and get it, so I guess we'll grab it now. That gives you, like, 20 notes for the overworld, so... Yeah, we're only missing, like, two notes, I think, in total, before we have all the notes in the overworld, so that's kind of cool. And Due to uh, someone asking me, can you actually go back in here? Yeah, you actually can revisit the Jinjo King, but... Yeah, his throne room it's not looking so hot and his pet's kind of ashes right now <laughs> I think that's kind of funny we didn't even damage him but it's not really too much to do in here honestly they can try and attack you I do believe he like eventually says some stuff if you stay here long enough but aside from that and the different music it's not too terribly interesting but you know what is super interesting <gasps> actually come to think of it these ginger hunches aren't really that cool either, but hey, we're gonna look at them anyways, because this is like the one time where you can get super close to a Jinjo, and they don't get teleported away, so you can really look at how weird the Jinjo model looks close up. <laughs> just look at it! It's like the funniest overbite ever, I don't know. Always just really like those guys, but yeah, that's what the inside of the Jinjo house looks like, it's... Relatively uninteresting and oh, yeah, no dude. There's a I've not even explored the Jinjo village since we got here, man Sometimes it's easy to forget, you know, that's an area you can explore and it's also sometimes easy to forget that Yeah, the entire reason we're playing this adventure is to save bottles Which kind of just doesn't show up anymore, and I kind of forget God, what? I can beat all the bosses in this game, but get hit by the dumbest thing. Okay, moving on. We still need to unlock the next level of the game, and this is where things start getting a little bit tougher. Not necessarily the puzzle you use to open up the level, it's just these levels get a bit on the long side, and yeah... This next one's gonna be a little bit complicated. It's still a good level, though. I think it's honestly a great level, even if the theme isn't the best, which... Ugh, God. It's like, I wanna, I wanna say I like all of Grant Kirko's music, and I do, but I think it's one of those things where it's just like in music, it's like when some, when an artist you really like releases an album, there's obviously gonna be some songs that you listen to, like, you know, 
more than others, but does that make the other songs on the album, like, bad? I mean, I don't really think so. I usually listen to a lot of them. I mean, even though my music tastes are extremely outdated, and if I told them, you'd probably laugh at me, but... I don't know, that's just how I feel about some things. And this, uh, score is really no different in this level. It's not bad, it's just, you know, the other Banjo-Kazooie mix... not mixes, but songs are... Maybe make us a bit more spoiled, but that's how I feel about it. Yeah, I don't really know why I had a sudden music rant that was kind of out of nowhere. No, okay, that's something that's been bothering me for a long time. Is there any band you can think of? Or, eh, it can be an artist too, I guess. I mean, I'm not uh, specifying, you know, rock music by any means, but is there one album where it's like, dang, pretty much every single song on there is like just a hit. I mean, I don't know, I guess it depends on the album size, really. Heck, I remember buying like just albums with 12 songs and now it feels like, you know, eight's the status quo, but... What's that have to do with Grunty Industries? I don't stink, you know, always sound like a, 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 rec a record label. Grunty Industries coming out with their new hot single, McJiggies. Get it on iTunes or don't, because iTunes kind of sucks. <laughs> Anyways, the sixth world of Banjo-Tooie is now open to us. And Grunty Industries mixes things up a fair bit. It's... kind of hard. But to actually access it, we kind of have to do a 180. We started this episode back in the wasteland. Actually, not really the wasteland. It was more so clifftop, but whatever. Now that we have the spring shoe ability, or jump shoe... What, you, what even is the official name? I'm so, that's the one thing I'll never get good at, is the shoes for Banjo and Kazooie. I just, th those are not in my vocabulary, but yeah, the vehicle that uh, has been flying all around, not really flying all around, but just moving all around the Isle of Hags, apparently can go up walls too, so we had to learn that ability, and oh man, Ugh, there it is guys. Uh, this next one's gonna be a little on the rough side, and yes, I see the ginger, but it's a minjo. Anyways, thank you all so much for watching this episode of Let's Play Banjo Tooie. In the next part, we stop Grunty from making horrible products and Grunty Industries. So, see you guys then. Bye.